episode 242 Lucid Blind Dreams Hello and welcome to another episode. Hope you're all doing well. I hope you're uh, all keeping safe. Um, hope you're not um, getting sick with the uh, the COVID-19. Um, and uh, hopefully when you listen to this, lockdown will be over and it'll be a thing of the past. I'm certainly looking forward to that day, I have to say now. Um, I don't know, um, I'm not quite sure when it started, um, the lockdown or the working from home. Somebody said to me it was Friday the 13th. Um, I think it's that March, I'm not sure. Uh, it's now May, this is now the 5th of May today. Yesterday was May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, so today's May the 5th. Um, and yeah, May the 18th is a date we've been given in Ireland when they may start relaxing some of the restrictions. I'm sort of looking forward to it. I mean, I spend a lot of time at home anyway. I've worked from home for years as well. Um, the role I currently have, I'm actually working for IBM and it was, I enjoy going into the office, you know, I like telling me, uh, me bad jokes to people and, uh, it's no fun telling bad jokes to yourself, is it, you know, so, but I am good at talking to myself, so it seems to be a knack I seem to have acquired, <laughs> but anyway, I suppose one of the, um, one of the elements of spending a lot of time indoors or isolated or maybe not have been as active as you should or you were, um, is you can have problems sleeping. I think most people I talk to, um, I always try and give people support when I talk to them about it. Um, and, you know, if I'm feeling that way where I'm, you know, problem sleeping or something's down, you know, you end up, you have no one to talk to because everybody feels the same. And it's really hard finding comfort in anybody, uh, anybody's input, you know. But anyhow, one of the, uh, one of the, definitely one of the components of, have been, you know, in a in, you know in confined space over a period of time. I think it's bad. It's bad sleeping patterns, uh, and what I find is when sleeping patterns are bad, you end up getting some pretty pretty crazy dreams. And I've had some pretty crazy dreams, um, and I, I've spoke about them in other um, in other episodes. But um, I suppose the classic one for me, I, I'm going through at the moment. Uh, I'm very lucky. Last couple of days, I've not had it. It's the lucid blind dream. So, essentially what happens, uh, and I'm sure many of you will, will have probably had this, you go to sleep, uh, as you do, you go to sleep, uh, but then you um, you think you're awake and you're paralysed, and you see an image of like the room or wherever you fell asleep. Now, there could be people in the room. I've had it, the first time I ever had it, I think there's people in the room, and it was, it was pretty scary because I thought, I'm awake but I'm paralysed. When in fact, the image you are seeing is not a live image. It's actually the image as you went to sleep. And this is sort of critical in some ways. So some of the dreams I have now is, um, you know, I've got to sleep. In. So what, what's normally happened is I've normally gone to bed, I've had a bit of a sleep, I've woke up, could have been wide awake, and I've gone back to sleep. Now this could happen any time in the middle of the night or the early day, morning, whatever. But it's the going back to sleep. I normally lie on my left hand side and I've got a little table there with me charging device and me, me Apple, me Apple charging devices. And I've also got the Alexa with the, the little screen as well that gives me a little alarm clock, you know, and I've a little LED, um, light as well. And what happens is I go to sleep. This image is, it's in almost emblazoned in your brain, you know, and, uh, what happened was on a few occasions I started becoming lucid in the dream. And what I can see is this image, this image that I saw as I was going to sleep, which is sort of okay in some ways, a bit of a compliment, I suppose. It's not, it's not like it's, you know, a strange location. But I could be in an environment where I need to see, you know. And in the dream, one of the things I do is I bring my hand up in front of my eyes and wave my hand in front of my eyes, you know. And I can't see it. I can't see my hand. But I can see this image, you know. Um, and th that's where sort of the blind aspect comes in because sometimes it's like my eyes are half open or my eyes are open a little bit and I can see a little bit, but I can't see directly, you know. So this is the sort of weird funky dream I have. And, you know, what's ironical for me in some ways is even though I know it's a dream, I know what it is, 
there's always this lovely, lovely sense of relief when you wake up, ironically, to that image of the Alexa alarm clock, the LED lights, and the Apple charger. <laughs>